Today on TechCrunch Cribs, we're heading over the Bay Bridge to Oakland, which is the home to music streaming site Pandora. I met with Marta Riggins, Pandora's Director of Employee Experience, to check it all out. Welcome to Pandora headquarters. Thanks. We're currently on the seventh floor, okay. which is our newest floor. We're on four floors in this building, but we're about to be on six. Wow. So this floor is mainly engineering and our product team. Um, we've really grown that in the last year. Is there always music going on here at Pandora? There is in the sense that we have music playing in the office. You'll notice a lot of people have headphones on because people like to have their kind of individual listening. Yeah. And then we do have live performances, which we call whiteboard sessions, once a week in the office. Oh, cool. Yeah. What but, are some of the people you've had come? Oh my gosh. Um, we've had, last week we had the Indigo Girls. Wow. We've had Miguel. We've had Kapaki Family Band. Um, the lead singer of Montreal, this, I don't know, I can't even name them all, there's been so many. This is our device engineering team, which is why we have all of these devices, everyone's working to integrate Pandora into all of the 1,000 CE devices that we're into, so they're wow. testing. Yeah, pretty amazing. I wish my brain worked this way, it does not. <laughs> and then over here, again, you kind of see, um, this is parsley, sage, rosemary, and thyme, so that music geekiness we're trying to yes. infuse into our environment wherever possible. The lyrics to Scarborough Fair. Yes. yes, very good. Folk fan over here. Yeah. Very nice, <laughs> yeah. Pandora's headquarters is made up of two co-joined buildings. The company has taken over several floors and is connecting it all into one mega open office space. Welcome to the sixth floor. Okay. And I'm going to take you into the venue. The venue. Which is one of our kitchens, and has this really amazing wow. sign here that's a big fan favorite, a radio sign, which these are really amazing little booths, so people have lunch, they have meetings, they all have screens, um, and it's a great place just to kind of meet, hang out, have lunch. Very cool. Like half there, yeah. Yeah, it's a nice little kitchen, really light, faces downtown Oakland. Has Pandora always been here in Oakland? We've always been in uh, Oakland since we started. Yes. Okay, and yes. that was like 10, 12 years ago. 10 years ago, we're hitting our 10 year anniversary. We haven't always been in this space, um, but we've always been in Oakland. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Any favorite spots for lunch? What's a oh. popular spot? There's a ton. There's Farley's East around the corner. Um, there is a place called Suya, which is Afro Caribbean food, Taiwanese bento. Um, there's a place called Torpedo Sushi, which is sushi burritos. Um, there are so many within a block, it's, it's really amazing and easy. Yeah. They moved in here at a time when most of the tech industry was centered in Silicon Valley, and this part of Oakland wasn't quite built up with as many shops and restaurants as it is now. They attribute their location as the reason the business thrived like it did. They say that avoiding the high rents in San Francisco gave them the space and money to grow. I overheard someone talking about the Take Your Kids to Work Day. I heard yeah. it was a crawling with kids. We had 304 kids That's nationally. Amazing. We had 240 in Oakland, and it was awesome. We yeah. show them what we do at work, um, kind of like what their parents do. We have music. We do giving back activity. It's awesome. It's chaotic, but it's awesome. Right. So this is the park. So meant to look like a park. Um, the idea behind the space is that you kind of feel um, an extension of the Kaiser Garden. So that's a kind of a secret park in Oakland all people know about. So the idea was to kind of extend the feeling of the park. So if you can't get outside, you sort of feel like you're outside. Very clever. It's like an infinity pool, but yes. like an infinity park. <laughs> yes, exactly, exactly. <laughs> so it's a nice space to have meetings, you know, it's really bright and airy. And then if you actually stand in the middle here, the acoustics are much better. Oh. So oftentimes, ooh, now I'm really loud. Oftentimes, we have performances like the whiteboard I was telling you about, we'll do in the park because the acoustics are so nice. Right, you don't even need a sound system. No, just stay in the middle. Right? Hello, hello. Is that, is that the spot? Hello, 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 hello. Where is it? Right. Where's that sweet? Oh, right here, right here. Come okay. right here. Come right here. Okay. Hello. There you oh, go. Wow. Yeah. It's like I'm in stereo. A collaborative culture is extremely important at Pandora. In order to keep the vibe consistent from 10 years ago until today, no one person owns the vision or has a final say on the office space. Instead, a team of Pandora employees and consultants work together to expand while trying to keep the culture intact. Here is Abbey Road. This is our in-house recording studio. So. In here, hey, hey, what's up? How are you doing? <laughs> Good. So we record a lot of things in here. So these guys, and you could totally jump in if I'm getting it wrong, but 
They record artist audio drops, artist interviews. We actually do a lot of in-house voiceover and we bring an external voiceover talent to do ads. So it's pretty neat to have an in-house studio space. Totally, because that's normally something I guess you would outsource if you were doing an ad, but you guys do it yeah. all right here. Right in here. This is where the magic happens. Well, the magic really happens out there, but you know, <laughs> magic also happens. There too. <laughs> Everywhere. It's all around the studio. So yeah, it's pretty neat. Yep. Wow, I feel like I'm in a real like radio. That's the like, idea. We yeah, are, we are radio, so right. that's good. I know. I feel like it could be. We did broadcasting. You want to get on you the know, mic something. and uh, cut a commercial for us? I guess so. Yeah. It's Colleen from TechCrunch at Pandora headquarters in Oakland, California, and that's a wrap. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Well done. I think I could have a new career here. Yeah. yeah.